Scorpio. Hey, happy December. Happy holidays, guys. Welcome back. It's Teresa, your Indigo Path, bringing you the December Love Tarot reading for uh, December 2016 for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and possibly your Venus. Again, it's a general reading, so please be sure to check out all your aspects of the chart and depending on the planetary aspects, one may resonate more than the other depending upon the time of year. Guys, I do work with Cindy at Your Indigo Path. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. If you're looking for additional services, please check out the links below or go to yourindigopath.com. When checking out, if you'd like me to do the reading, please put my name in the comment section. I'll be sure to get the message and I'll add you to my schedule as quickly as possible. So thank you for that. We are also sponsored by Star Ackerman and IK Multimedia. They provide the iClip and the iRig mic love we are so thankful to them for their sponsorship so guys they have wonderful products and services be sure to take the time out and check them out at ikmultimedia.com and as always thank you spirit for choosing me to be the vessel for which you use to get these messages out to each and every single person out searching and seeking thank you so much and thank you for being with us spirit guys these are, this is a 10 card celtic spread using the gilded tarot cards so let's get this started and see what's going on with our Scorpio friends. All right, Scorpio, in the first position, you guys are starting out showing up as a nine of cups. <laughs> oh my gosh. First thing I want to say is I feel like you drink the well dry. Um, I think there's been a good time had for all in the love life. And um, yeah. Very much. Y'all have y'all have partied to the cows came home for real. You have just had a fabulous time. So you kind of like, um, yeah, it's celebration. It is literal celebration, celebration, celebration. So congratulations. What is crossing you? You've got the five of wands, and this I feel like is. Uh, there may be some bickering going on between you and your love interest. Now, specifically about what, I don't know. Um, probably the house because you've got little pets down here. Not sure what it is, but there's a little bickering. But it's not out of control, so don't worry about that too much. What puts you in the first position is the Three of Pentacles. And I feel like you guys um, came across some money so that you could go out and celebrate until the cows came home. I know that's weird, but that's just that just simply means party until you can't party anymore. Like a couple of days of partying, celebrating. That's a good thing. But I feel like you, you worked so hard and money came in and you were able to go celebrate with your loved one. But then we have a little bit of bickering coming across. In your fourth position, this is your future card from now to the next two weeks. You guys have got the Knight of Swords in reverse. You may be dealing with an air sign. It, you may be dealing with an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. They're not... Um, I feel like they're... Okay, the feeling I get off this card is health-wise, they're not feeling really good right now. So they may be a little grumpier than normal. So if this is your love interest, be a little patient with them because I think they're really not feeling... They're health-wise, they're not feeling well which is making them grumpy and you guys may not be, you know, doing the happily ever after moment. It's It can be resolved, but right now they're just not feeling well. So that, there you go. The message from your higher self, you've got the Six of Pentacles. Simply reminding you, it's all about balance. It's all about, this is like the double balance. You've got the balancing uh, pillars here. The balancing scales, the coins coming in, two, four, six, they're all balanced out. So you have two here. This is totally reminding you to keep everything balanced and in perspective when dealing with your love or love interest. Your second future card, this will be two weeks, a little bit after. You've got the five of swords in reverse. This is actually kind of a good card because this means like you're not having to... Um, it's a new dawn in your relationship or your love. You've got a new dawn. It's like, um, let me see. I feel a new dawn and, ah, okay. New dawn. You've stepped up. I know. 
and I was like, where does this come from? It comes from spirit. New Dawn, because you've stepped up. You have stepped up in your love relationship. So congratulations. The word man up came across my mind too. So if that applies, there you go. Your fear and insecurity in seventh position. You've got the Hierophant. And this is... Um, Wow. Okay. This card right now, what I'm feeling off of this card is this, your fear and insecurity is that at this point in your life, Scorpio, you may be turning to a higher source. You may be coming a little closer, walking closer with spirit, um, God, Buddha, your higher belief. This is what you fear that your choice to become more religious or closer to God or closer to spirit will uh, not be, it'll be a shallow balance. That's what I, it'll be a shallow balance, meaning that you in your heart are you fear because you have this want and need and desire to grow closer to spirit or your higher self or your religious beliefs. You fear that it will have shallow balance, meaning that it won't. You fear you're going to find out that it doesn't make that much difference. But that's just a fear and insecurity. So don't worry. You know, this reminds you of what you don't want to do. So knowing that, you will be okay. So that's all right. That's good. Congratulations. Your eighth position is that this is what the universe wants you to know to move your relationship forward. It's all about, this is the magician in reverse. This is, this is to remind you, you need to think of new ways to be creative in your relationship. You know, it doesn't have to be anything, like, really off the wall, but it's like, you've got, you need to take, you need to um, be creative. Yeah, be a little romantic. Be surprised, he, your love interest. Be creative. Do something a little bit out of the ordinary. You know, just something sweet, something simple. If you don't buy them flowers, except on, like, birthday or holiday, or anniversary, go buy them flowers. You know, it doesn't matter. Just do something. Bring them a cup of coffee. Take them to a movie. Bring, pick up a movie and bring it home and watch it. You know, just do something out of the ordinary. Be creative. That's good. And that's what the universe is telling you to move this relationship forward. In the ninth position, this is your hopes and dreams, and it's a page of swords in reverse. And your hopes and dreams are that you always maintain balance. And you will be able to um, yeah, you'll maintain balance and that you never have to take action to guard your relationship. Guard you don't have to take relationship to guard it and it stays in balance. That's what I get from that card. Um the overall message, the tenth position, you, we've got the Queen of Wands. This is fire and passion and I'm trying to figure out if this is you or your love interest. If it's your love interest, you know it's a fire sign. It's um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like this is you knowing when. You're, you're a very passionate person. You're very sensual and you're very passionate. And this is about you knowing when and where and how to take your passion deeply and connect with your love. So that's what I feel with that. You know how to do it and you know when it's appropriate. So congratulations on that. Scorpio, I hope you've enjoyed your reading. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. If you're looking for additional services, check us out at 
yourindigopath.com or check the links below. And again, thank you Star Ackerman and IK Multimedia for the sponsorship. Guys, please check their services and products out because um, they have great stuff over there, especially if you're in music, into music. They have really, really cool stuff. Um, you know, they, they have a, a lot of things, but music is their, one of their big fortes. So check them out, ikmultimedia.com. And finally, if you happen to be a Periscope user, follow me at Terry Gary, T-E-R-E-G-E-A-R-Y. I am live three times a week now for one hour on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You have the opportunity to get a question answered. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's a one question, one card activity. On Monday, it will be at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Great way to get your week started out. Wednesday and Fridays, we are now doing 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Monday and Wednesdays, just so you know, our general, um, whatever, general questions. Friday, we try to stick to the agenda of love for your weekend. So, anyway, join us over there. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to get a question answer. You can hang out with your soul family. We have a good time. We are a fun group, fun, loving, and supportive group. So, I hope to see you over there. Thank you again for taking time out of your schedule and stopping by to check out our videos. We'll see you soon with the mid-month. Take care. Bye.